Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about Stable Diffusion 3. Many of you know that Stability AI released the initial weights for uh, starting using it and today I just want to go through the process of downloading the weights and running Stable Diffusion 3 on our laptop, mainly Windows. Why Windows? Because still we need some prerequisites for running Stable Diffusion, which is uh, an AI model and it's quite heavy. So I recommend you to use a, a NVIDIA GPU supported computer like Windows and Linux and to have enough VRAM on your computer as well. If you're running it on Mac, you really need to be patient because it's going to take a little bit of time for just generating a single image. Although today we are going to run it on ConfUI, which is slightly, you know, quicker than automatic 1111, but still the Mac is not an optimal solution for that. Installing it is very, very easy. The first thing we need to do, we need to have an account on Hugging Face. Why this? Because we will have to agree on a license from Stability AI. So if you don't have already an Hugging Face account, you will have to create one. If you have it, just log in. Go into the main Stability AI Table Diffusion 3 medium. And then once you logged in, you will have to accept a license. Once you have approved this license, you will have full access to all of the files. So you will have to go into files and here you will see a few files. <laughs> what do we have to download? So it will take a little bit of time. So I would recommend to start downloading it straight away. It's Stable Diffusion 3 Medium Safe Tensor. So you just need to press on this icon here. And then, other than that, we need to download the text encoders. So to download them, we will have to go into text encoders folder and download clip G, clip L and T5 XXL. This latter one is very useful if you want to achieve better results when generating text. All right, so this is the, the main part, I will say. Then after that, if you don't have it, you will have to install ConfUI. To do that, you will have to go into the main ConfUI GitHub repo, which is this one. And then for window users, you can simply click on this direct link to download. And then following the instruction, simply download, extract the zip file and run it. Make sure you put your stable diffusion checkpoints models in the corresponding folder. Now, I have done this already, so I'm going to show you where I actually put my models. I have my ConfUI folder, then you go into ConfUI. After that, you go into Models and then Checkpoints. In here, you will see I have the Stable Diffusion 3 Medium Safe Tensors. We should have downloaded from Hugging Face. Let's go one folder back. We'll dive into Clip. And here is where we need to add our text encoder. So as you can see, I have clip G, clip L and T5 XXL. Great. So in order to run ConfUI at this point, let's go back in the folders. You will have to run the uh, NVIDIA GPU. If you're using Windows with G NVIDIA GPU supported, this is my case. So I'm going to double click on that and ConfUI should initialize. Everything should be super straightforward and <laughs> so easy. In the meantime, you can download some examples from Hugging Face. If you go again in files, so you can see ConfUI example workflows. So you can click in here and then you will see you have some, oh, in the meantime, ConfUI initialized. Thank you. Let's go back here. So you can see three examples. You can download all of them. Okay, so this is the main interface for ConfUI. What I want to do, I'm going to load the workflow I just downloaded, or you can just drag and drop it. Let's zoom it a little bit. And yeah, let's have a look at what we have here. So for the load checkpoint, you can see that this is automatically picking the stable diffusion tree medium safe tensors. And for the clip model, we are getting already these three clips. 
we have downloaded before. Then I'm not gonna change the prompt for now. I just wanna run the workflow I downloaded from Hugging Face and I'm gonna press into Q prompt. Now here you will see that it's gonna give me some errors. This is completely normal. So let's have a look into here. So you have to change this, so click on this and change it to Stable Diffusion 3 Media Self Tensors. And I think this should be the only one because I don't see anything weird here. Let's try in Cube Prompt again. No, there's still something. And here we can change this to FP16 because it's the one we have at the moment. And now it should work. Let's go towards the output area, which is here. And let's wait for it. Now the first time will take a little bit longer, but then afterwards it will be very quick. Cool, nice. And yeah, this is the, the first example. If we zoom in, we can see like the details. Uh, I must say that just using, you know, the basic stable diffusion tree model, it's great. Now let's try another one. I would like to build some text actually. So let's load another workflow. Okay, let's have a look at the prompt. We don't have negative prompt in this case. It's gonna be a very simple example. A bottle with a rainbow galaxy inside it on top of a wooden table on a snowy mountain top with the ocean and clouds in the background. Again, here we have clip, we have dual clip loader, triple clip loader. Just make sure that all of the models are aligned to what you have downloaded. If not, you will see an error when you press on Q prompt, so no worries, but should be fine. And it seems to be working. Let's go in the output part. And this is so nice. So let's zoom in. Let's have a look at the glass and the details of the glass, the, the table as well, you know, the wooden pattern and the galaxy <laughs> inside the table is very nice. Now let's uh, try and add some text to it. So I'm gonna go into my positive prompt and I would like to add bottle label saying Laura. So I would actually I would like to actually see my name on the on the bottle. Let's cue prompt again and let's see what happens. Oh the label is not amazing. I must say that I got some better labels before when I was trying it, but honestly you can actually see Laura written on it, which is something that you could probably never get with Stable Diffusion Excel or anyway with previous Stable Diffusion models. So I find this very, very interesting and cool. And yeah, so this is a, a very quick introduction to Stable Diffusion 3. Uh, I just wanted to uh, have a look with you on how to run it on ConfUI and uh, the results generated the improvement right since previous versions which i find them great mainly for the text something that i would like to stress is that stable diffusion 3 is not free for commercial use so if you want to use it for commercial use you will have to pay for a license now if you go into the stability ai website then you you will see that you have three different licenses you have the non-commercial community and enterprise they don't give you the price but you can press on the contact button uh, for knowing more about this but yeah if you're using this just for fun and playing with it and if you are a creator like i am but actually with less than one million of uh, annual revenue you can use it for free and I'll leave it here for now. So this was a very quick one. We went through how to use Stable Diffusion 3 with ConfUI, how to download it and use it. And yeah, I hope this was useful and that you will enjoy Stable Diffusion 3 as much as I do. Thank you very much for watching and see you at the next video. Bye.